Well, here we have this device that we're going to be able to recover in a very easy and simple way. What we're going to do is to recover our devices. We always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end. In this video tutorial, we're going to use a totally different method than the previous one. Well, to be able to recover our device, we have to be there. Aided to a Wi-Fi network to be able to give you the process so that you can see that. It is completely blocked since it has this screen lock also with. The forgotten Gmail account for those people who want to have our video. In advance for a long time and before they are published, well, uh, we. Recommend that you participate in our community of members there we will be publishing the advanced videos every day so that you can update yourself before they are published. Well, as you can see our device has a screen lock also with the forgotten Gmail account. What are we going to do? We are going to use in this video tutorial we are going to use what a tool is. We are going to explain where you will be able to download the tool. Uh, before running the tool we go to what are Antivirus. Let's go to our antivirus and we're going to temporarily disable it. We're going to go here where it says virus threat protection. We select it, then we click here where it says manage settings. Then we deactivate the first option, it should be deactivated. Having said that we're going to go to what is our browser and we're going to write in the browser we're going to write david cell exactly here as we're going to show it on the screen write exact lissel and the official page that says android tv will appear first you're going to select android tv the first one you're going to select it then it would take you to the section of the page if it doesn't appear first you're going to click down where it says see more and you're going to select the device or apps page, after selecting it you're going to go down. You're going to find the tool. Also here we can download the drive. Here are also the drivers below they download it. Having said that what we're going to do is install the tool. We're going to run the tool, after we run it we'll have a direct access. Here you install the tool, we have that shortcut. We are going to right click on the shortcut. We run it as administrator, we say yes. And then it will appear here on the screen, we are going to wait for it to appear. If it asks you to update, if it asks you to update. You are not going to update it, you say no, it does not update it, it does not update it. Ready. Now it will open the program, it will open, everything will be marked. Leave it like that, only what you are going to do is click where it says log in. After we log in these settings will not appear. Several settings will appear. In these settings you are not going to. I am going to explain to you. I am going to give you a tour of the tool. We are going to click here where it says EH MediaTek. Here we are going to find all the processors. We are also going to be able to find the brands today in this video. Tutorial we are going to explain only the Samsung one which is with a MediaTek processor that we are going to work with today. We are going to select. If we select it then below you will find these two, these three. Options and the one that we are going to select here below the meta there is also this service. Let's select service, we select service and now we're going to select. The option that says reset, we select reset in. The tool is going to run, which is what we're going to do. Well,
Let's look for our device. Let's select, we're going to turn off our phone. We turn it off. Our phone has to be completely off. We click on turn off. Now what are we going to wait for? We're going to wait 10 seconds for our device to turn off. After 10 seconds when it's completely off, we're going to introduce what is the USB cable so it can recognize it. We're going to introduce the cable here you can see that it is already recognizing it. We're going to wait until the last option appears that says reset PRP. No longer appears. This option. We're not going to disconnect it, let it the PC will beep and it will show you what the charger is. It will show you that it is charging, this can take up to 30 seconds leave it like that. Leave it like that when it shows charging in green. Ready. Now what we're going to do is turn on our device. We're going to turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. After it turns on completely. We're going to turn it on. We can now disconnect it since it showed us a. Uh, it showed us it was charging, as we had told you, we're going to turn it on. Now that it turns on completely, we're going to wait for it to take us to start. How we know that our device was successfully recovered, well. Before telling you, I'm going to recommend that you watch the video tutorial until the end. Since our device has some errors and these errors. Errors, sorry, how do we recover it? How do we correct it by watching the video until the end? As you can see here we see the accessibility option in the little padlock, that's what it means. Say that our device is already on the right track. Let's click here, let's finish configuring our phone. We'll click next, uh, let's click next. Then we're going to disconnect the Wi-Fi networks. What is this for? To speed up the process to be faster. Then we disconnect the Wi-Fi network. Let's go. Let's disconnect it because if we click here it will take longer I say. Take longer so what we have to do is what we have to do. Well a uh, disconnect if there is a SIM card introduced in our phone. We remove the SIM card then we click here on skip we click on skip now. We click here where it says do not copy we click on more we click accept we click on skip. So we continue configuring until we reach the beginning as we were telling you how. We correct the errors so that it tells us that the application stopped because if. We leave it like that application we will get an application stopped or had an error so. To correct these errors in these applications of the applications and the. Program what we are going to do is if some settings we go to near the phone. And we are going to select reset we select reset we click on reset everything. To factory settings and when our device restarts we will configure it as. We are doing in this video tutorial. You will reconfigure it normally so. You would have a device totally free of any error. You know, subscribe in.